Hey guys, for this video, I'm going to show you this nice tech selfie stick and tripod. They were nice enough to send me this item for free so I can make a video showing it to you. A lot of parts and pieces to get through, so I want to show you all of them and let you know what I think of it. Starting out with the tripod itself. Obviously, it has the three legs that fold together like so, and we can fold them out just like that. But also notice we have this little red button at the bottom and we can give it a push and then we can really let these legs stand out all the way to where they are almost flat on the ground. It gives you a wider base and because we have this other piece that we'll take a look at in a second that extends and gives you more height, it's nice to get a little bit more stability out of this. And then once you close them back up, that button's going to pop back out and you can use it as a more traditional tripod again. So we also have this here where your cell phone will mount with this guy, which again we'll take a look at in a second. Or if you just have a traditional camera, such as this Canon Rebel camera I have, you could use that mount and screw it in just like so to use it with a regular camera. But this comes off You can see we have a ball socket here that loosens with this little knob here. We can turn it completely sideways if we want to change the orientation of our camera or we can pivot it all over the place with that little socket. And once we find our position, just lock it down and it stays right there. We also have this side hole here, threaded hole that we could add accessories. You might have a ring light or you might have a microphone or anything you could attach to there. This is the same threaded stud here, so if you just wanted a flat surface, you could put a camera or the cell phone mount right on that guy there. But we also have the selfie stick portion, which also acts as an extension rod for the tripod to make it taller. And there are two collars here, so if you loosen one up, you can extend it, lock it down into any position you want. Same thing with this upper collar, and then lock it down, and you have a nice, long rod or selfie stick loosen them back up collapse it all down it's all short again now this end that is the same threaded stud that we have over here and that we have right here but you can unscrew this like so and flip it over and now we have the fatter 3 8 inch stud if you have a device that uses that it's a nice extra feature, however, I don't think many people are going to need that. This the smaller quarter inch threaded rod is pretty universal, used on everything I have. But it does give you that option if you came across a scenario to use it. So the bottom has the smaller quarter inch threaded hole there. We can attach it right to this guy here. Then the guy I showed you earlier, we can attach to the top of our rod. And now you can see how much taller we're able to get, and that's with both of these still collapsed. We can make it even taller if we wanted. Now, the portion that holds your cell phone is this guy right here. It has a red button on the side. You press that, it's spring-loaded. Bam. Opens right up. Now, I have a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And you can see it fits just fine. Plenty of extra room. I can get my finger in there still. And you just push it down and that holds it there. So it is a pretty snug fit. I'm not a huge fan of this design. The spring-loaded portion is okay, but it's very kind of uh, coarse. Not a real smooth action. Pushing it back in. You could hold the button and just push it in and let go of it. But really it's designed that you should be able to just squeeze it like that and hold your phone. So it's okay. Not my, my favorite thing in the world. It does have the mount at the bottom here for like a hot shoe. You have this guy at the top. So let's say we had our cell phone right here. We have it locked in. And I didn't want to use the cell phone microphone, but I wanted to use this microphone here. And you can see I got the same bottom there. So I could put this guy right inside here and then plug it in here. And we would have an external microphone all hooked up with it. 
So the mount does give us some additional options that are nice. Also comes with a drawstring bag. It, it'll hold everything all together. It's very flimsy, not super impressed with the bag. Does come with a remote that works via Bluetooth. There's an on off switch on the side. You turn that on and then open up the Bluetooth on your phone to uh, connect it. And then there's just a big camera button. And you just click away taking pictures. It does come with the battery already installed, ready to go. I like the tripod portion of this, and I think this base is actually really well made and well constructed. And I like having the extension pole to give you more versatility on the height of your setup. And I feel like they made it like that, and then someone came along after the fact and said, hey, you know what, you could use that as a selfie stick. So for a marketing purpose, we added the term selfie stick. I don't think anyone's going to legitimately be using this as a selfie stick, honestly. I think it's a tripod, a small tripod with an extension rod and some other accessories to go with it. That's how I would use it. Um, and that's just what I see the, the main use of the product for the typical user. But we lock that guy in there. Then we'd lock that guy in there, open that up, put this in here, like so. And then we can angle it any way we want, lock it into place, and then bam, functional item, tripod's good quality, bag not impressed with, extension rod really Probably isn't the greatest selfie stick, but just fine as an extension rod to make this tripod bigger. Phone mount, okay. Little clunky, but does work. So that's my opinion on this uh, nice tech selfie stick tripod. Thanks for watching.